Hello from Davos, uh, I am Dash. I run uh, Resources, Utilities, Services and Energy for Infosys. I have the pleasure of introducing Farnam, who is the President of Carnegie Mellon, and Ravi Kumar S., President of Infosys. We'll start with a few questions for you, of both of you. Um, in your view, what's the role of technology in reskilling, in learning? Can you, can you share your views, please? Absolutely. To be with you um, this afternoon. You know, technology is transforming every sector of our economy and uh, not a surprise that we also see that impact in the education sector. You know, one of the main advantages of technology, in fact, in recent years has been access. We can use technology to deliver content in a very efficient way to a large population, to people, in fact, who did not have access to education. Or extended to the content. reach, actually. Absolutely, extended reach. Technology can also be used to personalize education. I think that's one of the most amazing sort of opportunities for education at all level, to use technology to personalize the delivery of content and the content that a, that a student gets. But the third point I think is extremely important is that using technology to improve learning outcomes. Mm -hmm. That is by far probably the most biggest challenge in the application of technology to education and learning. And, and there's a lot of research being done in this area. In fact, Carnegie Mellon is the forefront of research in this area. And I'm very uh, optimistic that in the coming decade, we'll actually be able in a measurable way show how technology can improve learning outcome by orders of magnitude, which I think is going to be transformative. Wonderful. Really? Thank, Thank you, first. Fernando. That was very, very, uh, very powerful things you said. Just to add a few, sure. Uh, I think the feedback loops to make this uh, a continuum for learning, uh, technology is going to play a big role. Sure. The ability to create a continual feedback loop. Uh, I do believe that micro modular content will be the future, and micro modular content immersed with technology and individuals who could, who could actually support it. I think will be the future. I always keep saying that it's going to switch from sage on the stage to guide on the side mm -hmm. um, and when 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 you get to the guide on the side technology will play the role to uh, to um, take the main stage the switch to lifelong learning uh, is uh, also about imparting learning just in time sure moving away from just in case as i call it yeah. and when you do just in time technology will play a very important role to get those interventions on a continual basis, so uh, it's a it's a uh, it's going to be a powerful disruptor. Edutech companies uh, in in the in the education sector are already doing it, but uh, mainstream universities have started to get onto online content. So I think this is going to be a fabulous, uh, fascinating journey. I also believe, Fanam, I'm, I'm sure you know you'll have views on this. Universities will play a big role in reskilling in enterprises. Absolutely. Uh, so they went direct to individuals. Uh, they would potentially go to um, uh, enterprises, and enterprises will then use university and the academic ecosystems in partnership with them to do this massive reskilling needed uh, in in the era we are living in. Absolutely. Before I get to reskilling, the point you made about um, the feedback and the adaptive part of it. I think it's a really an important mm -hmm. point. I think technology, what it allows us to do is right. to collect information in real time and based on models that we create, we'll be able to make essentially education not only much more personalized, yeah. but also adaptive yeah. to the learning essentially behavior of the student. Yeah. So that in fact is going to make the impact of technology on education even more profound and more powerful. Yeah. Now, to your point about reskilling, I mean, if you look at our economy, there's no question that there is a major skill gap that is growing. Yep. There are lots of jobs that are available, but we know that, in fact, we don't necessarily globally yep. necessarily have the workforce to, in fact, uh, uh, to satisfy those jobs. Yep. Yep. So given that, I think we will continue to have four-year education where students come to school, go to college for four years, or get a master's, get a PhD, that model is not going to change, it's going to continue. In fact, technology is going to enhance the learning outcome in all of this. But we also need to come up with ways where we can essentially reskill yep. the existing workforce to be able to essentially to embark on new endeavors and take these jobs that are available. And furthermore, to your point about lifelong learning, 
What that really means is continuously yeah. learning new things and reskilling. Yeah. I think if you look at any of us, we have gone through careers where we have seen disruptions, constant disruptions, often uh, catalyzed by automation, by advances in technology. And no one believes that the type of advances we've seen is going to stop. In fact, it's going to accelerate in the coming decades. So I completely agree with you. The need for reskilling and upskilling the workforce is going to. Yeah. And this to add to one, uh, one additional sure. thing. I think uh, the reason why reskilling is so much mainstream topic even in Davos, Davos now is uh, in the previous industrial revolution, as these jobs moved from you know farm to factory or factory to supermarkets, the d common denominator was problem solving. So that agenda was actually owned by individuals and it was okay because the transition was not big. Now, with machines taking over problem solving, I think the, the creative skills needed on the job for problem finding and curiosity and emotional quotient and all of that, um, the switch is so big yeah. that mm -hmm. individuals can't own that agenda. It's institutions, academic organizations, governments have to come together in an ecosystem Absolutely. to own that. So Absolutely. I think reskilling is therefore become so important for ecosystems to play. No question, a, 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 a final point on reskilling is that uh, you're absolutely right, it's going to require not only universities, but community colleges are going to play a huge role in this. And the private sector and the public sector has to come together to enable all So that takes me to the next question. I and mean, you used a very interesting keyword, adaptive. Right? The education systems have to be adaptive to the needs of the future. Now, both of you are very passionate about involving community colleges sure. uh, and reskilling their, their, their students. Can you talk a little bit about the emerging needs? Where, where are the areas where you think there is a need for, for community colleges to step up? Uh, Absolutely. We actually see this in our own um, cities and talking to, to um, community colleges across the country. There's no question that they're embracing this and they're yeah. seeing this to be part of their mission and responsibility, which I think is a very positive thing, especially. In, in, in the United States. I think what, what you have to do to make this successful is you have to look at competencies that are developed right. and, and uh, by committed colleges and, and offered to the students. But equally important, I think, in this case is that to have community colleges partner with the private sector. I think the most effective way of tackling the upskilling and reskilling, at least in the short and immediate term, is to have the private sector and community colleges come together to um, uh, to essentially address this issue, yeah. and and I'm actually have seen a number of great examples of that across the United States, where yep. the private sector and community colleges have come, come together. To to I am and out of time. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. So just, just to add to it, these are digital backbone jobs. Which yeah, yeah, got created, and that's where the community colleges play an important yes. role. You could land them and then right. progress them into the core core parts of our business. Thank you so much. Thanks Thank very much. Great to see you thank guys. You. I appreciate you it. Thank you.